Hello boys and girls, this lesson is for Foundations, Unit 1, Week 1, Day 1. Let's get started. Our learning goal today is I can identify and write first grade letters and sounds. This is going to be a review from kindergarten. We are going to review each letter in the alphabet, their sounds, and practice writing those letters. For this lesson, you will need a dry erase board, a dry erase marker, a sharpened pencil, and your student notebook. Since this is our first lesson, I'll show you what the student notebook looks like. It has a little octopus and it's salmon colored. Hit pause while you gather your materials and hit play when you are ready to get started. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. I'm going to go over the letter, the keyword, and the sound, and you are going to echo me. The letter here is T, the keyword is top, and the sound is T. So I'm going to say T, top, T, and then you repeat after me. Let's do it together. T, top, T. Now you repeat what I said. Good job, guys. All right. The next letter is B. The keyword is bat, and the sound is boo. B, bat, boo. Did you guys echo me? Good job. And the last letter we will be reviewing today is F. F is the letter, fun is the keyword, and f is the sound. Echo me. F, fun, f. Great job. Okay, now you're going to practice writing those letters. So make sure you are sitting correctly with your feet on the ground, you're holding your paper correctly, and your pencil grip is just right. Let's get started. You will need a dry erase board and a dry erase marker for this part of the activity. Hit pause while you get your materials and hit play when you're ready to get started. Okay, boys and girls, let's get started. So T, B, and F are all skyline letters. Look at these lines here. These are our foundation lines. Here I see a little cloud, and this represents our skyline. Can you point to the skyline here? Good job. Now, you see this plane right here? This is for the plane line. You see this dotted line right here? Can you put your finger on the plane line and say plane line? Great. This is the grass line. See the grass right here? And the grass line is right here, so point to this grass line. Good job. And the last line is our, is our worm line. So point to the worm line here and say worm line. Awesome. So let's look at the letters T, B, and F. Why do you think they are called skyline letters? Yeah, because they all start on the skyline here. So we are going to write these letters together. You are going to use your dry erase board and follow along and echo what I say. All right, so let's start with T. Repeat after me. Point to the skyline. Go down to the grass line. Cross it at the plain line. T top. Good job, boys and girls. Let's try it one more time. Start at the skyline. Go down to the grass line. Cross it at the plane line. T top. T. Great job. Now let's work on the letter B. B is a skyline letter because it starts at the skyline. So can you guess well, where we will start with our pencil? Good job, on the skyline. Start at the skyline. Go down to the grass line. Trace up to the plane line. And around 
hummed to the grass line. B, bat, boo. Great job. Let's practice the letter B one more time. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to hit pause and practice on your own. Let's get started with the letter B again. Remember, we start on what line? Good job, the skyline. Start at the skyline. Go down to the grass line. Trace up to the plain line. And around to the grass line. B, bat, boo. Good job. So we practice T, we practice B. Now we are going to practice F. You might need to erase your dry erase board, so feel free to hit pause while you do that and hit play when you're ready to start with the letter F. Okay, let's get started with the letter F. Since this is a skyline letter, can you guess where we will start with, our, with the letter F? Good job, on the skyline. Remember to echo me as you write the letter. Start at the skyline. Trace back on the skyline. Then way down to the grass line. Cross it on the plane line. F, fun, f. Good job, boys and girls. That one's a little trickier because you do have to trace back on the skyline here. Let's try it again. Start on the skyline. Trace back on the skyline. And then way down to the grass line. Cross it at the plane line. F, fun, f. Good job, boys and girls, you did it. Today we practiced writing the letters T, B, and F. If you need extra practice, feel free to keep practicing these letters on your own on your dry erase board. But please make sure you are starting your letters on the skyline. It's very important that we form our letters the correct way, especially the letter B. You go down and then back up and around. This will help when we get to the letter D. Okay, now you will need your student notebook. You can put away your dry erase materials. You're done for that for the day. Hit pause while you get the materials you need and hit play when you're ready to go. All right, boys and girls, now it's time to fill in those letters in our student notebook. So the first thing you will do is look for the letter T. So open up your page and find the letter T. Hit pause while you look for the page and hit play when you're ready for the directions. Okay, boys and girls, now that you all have opened up to the letter T, let's look at this page. What is the name of this letter? I see an uppercase and a lowercase. What's the name of this letter? You got it, T. What picture helps us remember the sound? So what is this picture of? You got it, top. And what is the sound that this letter makes? Good job. So let's use our pencil and let's trace this lowercase t together. Start at the skyline. Oops, I need my pen, sorry. Okay, start at the skyline. Go down to the grass line. And across at the plane line. T top. Great job, boys and girls. You can hit pause and take a few minutes and color in your top, or you can just turn the page where you will find the next letter, which is B. So hit pause if you want to color, or keep watching if you want to start with the letter B. Okay, let's practice. 
Um, what is the letter on this page? You got it, B. What's the picture that helps us remember the sound? Yeah, that, good job. And what sound does this letter make? You got it, B. Now, when you make the letter B sound, make sure you're going B, not B, B. Because B does not make that sound. B goes B, B. There's no A at the end of it. So B, bat, B. Good job. Okay, you can take a minute and color in your bat, or you can go on to the next letter with me. Okay, boys and girls, the next letter is the letter F. We see the picture here. So what is this letter, boys and girls? Say it out loud for me. Awesome, F. What picture helps us remember the sound? Good job. Fun. And what letter, I'm sorry, what sound does F make? Good job. So let's practice writing this letter together. Use red. All right, start at the skyline. Trace back on the skyline. Go way down to the grass line and cross set the plain line. F, fun, f. Good job, boys and girls. All right, so you can color in those three letters that we just reviewed today, but please don't go ahead and um, color the other letters. Just stick with these. So just color in the T, the B, and the F today. We will do the rest as we go along and review our letters. You guys did a really great job on our first foundations lesson. I am so proud of you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and keep practicing with that letter formation, especially the letter B. Make sure all three of those letters start on what line? Good job, the skyline. All right, before we go, why do you think we call the letters T, B, and F skyline letters? What do you think? Why do we call them skyline letters? Tell a family member what you think. Great job. And a challenge question today. Can you find any other skyline letters? Do you know if the, we have any other skyline letters in our alphabet? If you, if you know one, tell a family member. Good job, boys and girls. Keep up the great work, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.